This is the building of ICRIAR, which has a very big, you know, abbreviation, Indian Council for Research on International Economic Relations. But now this building has been dedicated to former chairperson Dr. Ishar Judge Aluwalia. She was the director and chief executive from May 1998 to May 2002. She was a natural leader, and her long association with ICRIAR as director and you know later chairperson has been instrumental in shaping this. You know, to make this building and to make this institution as a globally recognized, top-ranked, independent think tank on economic relations and you know how India's place in the world has to be seen. All that great work was done by ICRIAR under the leadership of Dr. Isha Judge Aluwalia, and this building now has been dedicated in her name. So this is the building plan. This particular, you know, this building is divided into two wings. This one particular is the north wing and this is the south wing. As you're going to see, it's linked by a very nice corridor and a very beautiful staircase in the center. And you know, the whole surroundings have been perfectly incorporated to make this building look like a flower in a bouquet. As you can see in the front, as you can also see behind me, is a very nice sun shading effect that has been created in this building. And you know, this building, uh, a feast to look at, you know, very nice big, big panes which you'll see as you're working in the office. It will give you an excellent view of the outside as you're working. It's like as if there is a continuation from your desk to the outside world. Very nice building. You know, if you go inside, we're going to show you how beautiful this building has been created, how so much aesthetics have been put into this building. So we are now at the back portion of this building. This is the east side of this building. Very nice shaded portion. You know, on one side is the north block, one side is the south block. This side is the corridor. Come the very beautiful staircase, which has a very nice Jali, which has been created, you know, as a sunshade, you know, and also to create aesthetics and also, you know, give some protection against the direct rain. So this is the back portion, as you can see. These are the full facade walls that go right till the top on both the sides, and this is the central portion. On the front, as we have seen before, is the brick, a very nice sandstone jali, not brick jali, and a very nice porch and with a continuous jali right till the top because it's a west facing building so there has to be careful protection against the sun on the western side this building is a building that every architecture student must come and visit once to have a look at how the originality of material has been used in this building because you will see multiple times where exposed concrete along with sandstone along with absolute steel and glass have been combined together to create beauty we now walk through the building this building as already explained is a marvelous piece of architecture and this building in particular has you know if you start from the terrace very good views of all the buildings around it terrace is nicely soft scaped there's an extra two meters of wall which gives an imposing elevation to the building these are buildings on all the other sides you know buildings of other ngos there's solar panels on the roof which provide alternate energy green energy to the building to some extent this is an excellent place for people to interact with a nice jali and from the jali excellent views frames can be developed now as we look down you see there is this nice stairway leading to the terrace and on the other side we can see sand soft scaping and in the entrance also there is a soft scaped entrance and you can see the porch and the porch has a grand doorway and as you enter you can take stairs or the lift and as you can keep going in the building and you can you're welcomed by great paintings and other uh, important art forms in india that was fulkari and madhubani and whirly painting and my favorite terracotta which is 3d and see the beautiful composition made out of terracotta how nice frames can be developed 
and as we keep going we can see there's a terracotta in the courtyard of the building very nice view surrounded by softscaping very beautiful place for people to break out and relax as they're working the stairway is itself a piece of sculpture as it's exposed concrete from the back you can see the courtyard the stairway jali and the large panes of glasses which we'll see later give an excellent view of the outside special attention to the landscaping has been made in this building you can see this is a view from the terrace of the courtyard and how it's green covered a lot of palms a lot of other shrubs are there in this building the jali on the left is of the staircase right are the panes and this is the nice entrance you know breakout zone for people to sit very nice landscaping the stairway cut out becomes an imposing bold statement for the building excellent jali work again with panes of glass and the jali again of sandstone these are the corridors which join the north and the south wing you know and this is how it would look in sunny days with the light that is filtered into this corridor see the play of light again how light and shadow plays and creates such a dramatic effect in this building the cafeteria with this large panes which just continue outside the cafeteria nice painting the view from an office how you can see outside through the panes a small little conference room you can see this is the director's room and how it just continues to the outside the room of the chairperson this is a larger conference room for events to be hosted inside this building itself another small little interactive zone with a nice you know vegetation which we can have a great view of here i'm showing how the view is so continuous using these large glass panes people working in this office 